Here's seven crazy CapCut video editing features that you need to know about. These are game-changing CapCut AI tools that will speed up your workflow and level up your videos so that you can learn how to use CapCut to make amazing videos fast. Now, some of these features are totally free to use. Others have now moved to the pro or the paid version of CapCut, but even if you are on the free version, you can try them out without paying so you can see just how awesome they are. And don't worry, we'll have marked on screen which ones are free and which ones are paid, at least at the time of filming this video. Now I'm gonna be showing you this stuff on my iPhone, but you can do the same stuff on desktop as well. And let me know, what's your favorite CapCut video editing feature down in the comments below. So the first feature is automatic background removal. You don't need to worry about using a blue screen or a green screen anymore. CapCut does an amazing job at automatically removing the background from your videos. So you just wanna select your clip in the timeline there and scroll across until you see remove BG down the bottom. And then when we press on this, we get a couple of options. The one I'm talking about here is the auto removal. So if we press on this here, you can see just how fast this is happening, but also that we can see a preview of this straight away. So it's gone ahead, it's removed the background for us. We can play through this. Right now to help you create portrait videos. So whether it's YouTube Shorts, TikTok. Meaning that now we can add whatever we'd like in the background, but you also now have the ability as well to add a stroke or a cutout effect to this. So if we press stroke, you can see that we've got a mix of pro and free options here, but we can add some of these different effects and even change the color and things on them. There's even a cutout effect here as well, which looks pretty cool. But I'm just gonna cancel back out of this. Let's apply the background removal. So that's done. And let's go ahead and bring in another clip that we can use in the background here. Let's pick this clip here. And now we just need to move this clip on top of the other one. So let's select on it and let's come across here to where it says overlay. Now we can pick it up and we can move it across. And you can see now that background has been cut out. And if we select that top clip, then we can pinch to zoom or scale it down and we can move it to where we'd like it. Pretty awesome. So the next one is auto captions. This is an amazing feature to have built into CapCut and it's come a really long way since it was first released. So we wanna come down to text down the bottom here and we can choose auto captions. Now we can choose to automatically generate the text captions from either a voiceover that we've got on our clip or we can choose the video itself. Then we get to choose our template of what we'd like the text to look like. Again, there's a good mix of free and pro templates in here for us to use. Now what's really cool here is before we get to add the captions, we've now got two extra new features. The first one is bilingual captions, meaning that we can get captions added here into our video in different languages. So if we press on that, you can see here, there's a bunch in here to choose from. But you also have the ability in here to identify filler words. So it's transcribing your video and it knows when you're saying things like um, ah, so, or when there's big pauses or gaps in your videos. And we can choose to have those removed as well. So I'm gonna disable this for now. I'm just gonna hit generate. So we can just add the captions to the video so you can see how awesome that is. And we can see straight away that we have those in here. So if I press play on this, here's my top two tools right now to help you create portrait videos. So whether it's YouTube short. And again, all of this is fully customizable. And we can edit these titles either manually one by one, or we can choose down the bottom here, batch edit. And this is where we can go through and we can make adjustments to our captions from here. Now I'm gonna hit undo on that one. We're gonna go back in to add it again. So I'm gonna come down here to auto captions. This time I am gonna turn on identify filler words and I'm gonna hit generate. So not only now has it generated the captions for us in the theme or the template that we'd picked, but it's also gone through and it's suggesting edits for us to make. So we see down here, there is a pause for 2.58 seconds and we can just press the button here, delete one clip because that one is selected. And then we get the option here. Do we wanna just delete the text or do we actually wanna remove that piece of the video? So we can go here, yes, delete both. But what's cool about this as well is we can essentially edit the video from editing the text. Actually, in this video, there is a piece that I would like to remove. If we're scrolling down, you can see that I've actually repeated the last section. For a full breakdown, check out the video linked here. And then I've said it again a couple of times below that. So we can just select the pieces that we wanna remove and it's gonna cut those from our video. So let's leave this one for a full breakdown. Let's remove these two pieces here. So it says for a full breakdown, check out the video linked on screen. We can then delete the two clips. Yes, delete both the captions and the clips. And that piece has now been removed from the video. It's been edited out. Now you can definitely do this on the desktop as well. And you actually get more control on the desktop, but this is a pro feature. So the next feature I wanna show you is called Enhance Voice. And this works really, really well. So I've got this clip in my timeline here now. And if I play it, you hear it's got a lot of background noise. It's at the beach. This is a test. There is lots of background noise here and uh, a rainbow. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this enhanced voice feature to this and you'll see the difference it makes. So I wanna select on the clip and come down the bottom here to enhance voice. And then we wanna enable this. Guys, this is a test. There is lots of background noise here and uh... It's then going to go through and process the voice here. I'm going to apply this and now let's play it and hear the difference. Guys, this is a test. There is lots of background noise here and uh, a rainbow. Pretty amazing. All that background noise, the wind, everything is gone. So that's enhanced voice, which is amazing for removing a lot of background noise and making you sound better. But there's also another feature called voice isolation. I'll show you that one. I'll just turn off the enhanced voice here. So we're back at just the original clip, but this time instead of hitting enhanced voice, I'm gonna hit isolate voice. Now in here, we get to choose, do we wanna keep the voice piece or do we want to have everything but the voice? And where this works really well isn't necessarily with a clip like this. It works really well with music. So I'll show you that too. But let's just, for instance, choose keep voice. So I'm gonna go through and it's going to isolate my voice from the background noise. Guys, this is a test. There is lots of background noise here and uh, a rainbow. We'll see how good this. So again, it's done a pretty good job of removing that background noise there. But I'll show you what that does with a music track. All right, so I've gone ahead now and I've imported some music tracks in here. We've got the music from Epidemic Sound, which is one of my favorite places to get music for your videos. It also helps us with copyright for this kind of videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this now and then we'll try to remove the vocals from the music. Beneath the starlit sky, our love's secret line, like leaves we soar so high. Okay, so maybe we'll cut it there at that point. So we're only gonna be processing this first piece. Let's come down here to isolate voice and let's choose keep voice. So in theory, they should have just removed the music and kept the vocals. Beneath the starlit sky, our love's secret line, like leaves we soar so high. That's pretty amazing. Let's try the other way around. So instead of keep voice, now let's go remove voice. Now let's hit play on this. I mean, it's not perfect, but that's pretty amazing. So that's voice isolation. The next awesome feature is smooth slow motion. So we're not just slowing things down here, we're actually creating amazing looking slow motion clips. So this does a whole lot of processing and essentially adds in a bunch of extra frames to make your slow motions smooth. So let's just use this same clip again here. There's a little bit of panning around in the background and I reach up and point at the rainbow. Not the most exciting clip, but I'll show you what it does. So we've got the clip selected, come down the bottom here to speed. We're then going to choose just normal here at this point, but obviously you can get more advanced with this too. And you'll see to slow down, we can just lower the speed anything less than one. So let's go all the way down to say 0.2 for this. Let's just play it as is. So you can see how jumpy or how jittery it is. Okay, so it's very jittery, it's very jumpy. Now instead of this time, let's go back to adjust our speed. Let's keep it at the same speed, 0.2. But instead of just hitting the tick to apply this, we've got this drop down box here, smooth, slow motion. And you've got two options in here, faster processing or better quality. For best results, you wanna pick better quality. Let's select that one. Let's hit the tick to apply this. That means it's going through and processing that for us. Okay, smooth motion has now been applied. Let's play this now and look at the difference. That's so much better. Even the waves in the background. It's really chalk and cheese between these two. Okay, that point, <laughs> that wasn't great. Okay, but the rest of it, so much better. And I'll just hit undo here so you can see the difference. This was the before. The next feature is automatic color grading. I think this is absolutely awesome because normally this is something that I would suggest that you stay away from because they're all very mediocre at best. But this one actually does a really good job. So we wanna make sure that our clip is selected. We wanna come across here to where we can access the color controls. So we can choose adjust. And then the first one we've got here is auto adjust. So we've still got the ability to go through all of our stuff here manually, but if we just press auto adjust, then it's going to automatically make those adjustments for us. So you can see here before, 
and after. Now with this slider down the bottom here, we can adjust the intensity of that. So if you don't quite like it to the degree that it's suggesting, then you can dial it back a bit. And you've also got the ability to jump across and to further dial things in using the regular tools as well. But this is an amazing starting point. And what I found is it actually does a really good job. And feature number seven is video quality. This is another awesome one. If you've got low quality video, then CapCut can up res it and make it look much better. So I've got this really old live stream here. This was actually the first live stream on our channel nearly nine years ago. Let's just have a quick listen. Good morning, I think we're live. I'm just doing a quick check. This is the first time, or welcome to the, the first uh, live stream on Primal Video. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, so let's try and make it a little bit better. So if we select on it here, we can then scroll across down the bottom here to video quality. And in here, we have the ability to remove flickering. So if you've got flickering from any lights in your scene or strobing, we can take that out. We've also got reduce image noise. So if you've got really dark grainy footage filmed in low light usually, then you can make that look better in here as well with the reduce image noise feature. But the one I wanna show you here is the image quality one. So if we press here image quality, it does say for this one that CapCut is going to upload load your file or your media to their servers for processing. I'm gonna choose okay for this. And then while that's happening, down the bottom you can see we got two different options. We can upgrade this to HD quality or we can upgrade this to UHD, so 4K quality as well. Now this might be hard for you guys to see, so I'm gonna do the best that I can, but I'm gonna ramp this up to UHD. I'm gonna go ahead and let that process. Okay, so that one actually took a little bit of time to process and I've only got here, if we look, this clip is only one minute 15, one minute 16 long. So uh, it probably took about five minutes. But maybe I can flip this here on the side and we can take a look at this now. This is the up resed version. I think we're live. I'm just doing a quick check. This is the first time or welcome to the, the first live. Uh, I mean, first thoughts, it's definitely sharper. It looks like I've got some sort of beauty filter mode on, but even the detail on everything in the background is so much clearer. I've streamed on Primal Video. Um, just let me switch back to the other one. And let's hit play on this. Trying to get everything sorted here last minute, but I think that we are live and so I'm not sure how well this is coming through with the phone screen recording and YouTube's compression and everything. It is so much clearer, so much crisper. It does look a lot better than the original, but it probably wanna dial it down a little bit because it almost looks a little bit fake now. So there is a little instant preview button here. If I press it, you can see the difference here. This is on now, this is enhanced. And if I press this here, it just goes blurry. Again, I'm not sure how well you guys are going to see this, but it has made a huge difference. So this would be great for those of you that have got low quality footage lying around or even stock footage that you're buying. If it's not at the quality that you need, it's awesome to have this function built into CapCut. Now, for those of you looking to get up to speed editing in CapCut, we've created a comprehensive training that'll take you from beginner to YouTuber in around four hours. We've got more details down in the description box below, but this is the ultimate training to get you up to speed in CapCut fast. There's also a bunch of other resources down there to help you as well, and I will see you in the next video.